Welcome to the world premiere of Dragon and the celebration of Nakamichi's 75th anniversary. My name is Raymond Chang. I'm the CEO of Nakamichi USA. What I'm going to do today is to go through a brief PowerPoint giving you a little bit more colors about the rebirth of the Dragon project. The Nakamichi Dragon badge represents out of this world sonic performance within the audio industry by delivering a combination of technical and mechanical brilliance that has never been achieved or attempted before by any other brands. There are a total of three Nakamichi Dragons and they are all incredibly iconic in its own right. Nakamichi as a company produced a lot of world-class cassette decks. Most of them are based on a model number like the 700, the 1000, the 505, etc. The name Dragon was given to a product for the first time in 1982 instead of a model number as it is a truly remarkable piece of engineering wonder. It was also commercially the most successful Dragon as it sold over 100,000 units with an average retail of over $2,000, roughly equivalent to about eight dollars to $9,000 today. Nicknamed the Holy Grail of cassette decks, it is the first one to be equipped with three discrete heads, one for recording, one for playing back, and one for erasing. Discrete in a way that each head, from a mechanical, magnetical, and electrical point of view, they are all separated from each other. The revolutionary auto azimuth correction is amazing. Every time you play a cassette, the deck calibrates its head for perfect alignment and accuracy playback, just for the cassette inserted. The Dragon CT is a very special turntable. Similar to the auto correction on the Dragon cassette deck, the Dragon turntable has a state-of-the-art technology built in known as the absolute center search system. Some vinyl records may have some minor or major imperfections, like the hole may be off center, or the hole may be slightly oversized, which makes the record rotate off the center, thereby giving you a subpar audio experience. The absolute center search system does exactly what it says it does. It has a second arm built in. Yes, you hear it right. The invention it's a second arm on a turntable that searches for the absolute center of each record. With this innovation, the Dragon turntable can read and play back 100% of the information perfectly from the groove of any record. The very, very last Dragon ever seen in the wild is the ultra-rare reference CD player. Only 200 units were produced and they were quickly sold out. It has a one-of-a-kind three-piece formation. One chassis housing the disc change transport with a built-in spare digital to analog converter. One housing the power supply and the controls and one chassis housing a standalone digital to analog converter. It is the world's first reference quality CD player that can house seven CDs at a time. That was a good walk down the memory lane. Let's talk about the latest and greatest Dragon. The latest Dragon project is a deeply, deeply personal thing for myself as well as the team because it was so challenging and there were mountains of obstacles. There were numerous occasions that made us want to throw in a towel because what we we're trying to achieve was so exuberant and seemed completely unattainable at that time. Kudos to the team for overcoming every obstacle along the way and making today possible. We have just won a couple awards, CES Innovations, Top Tech Winner for Digital Trends, Editor's Pick for Sound and Vision, Best of CES from both What Hi-Fi and Tech Hive. When we designed Dragon, we took a three-layered approach. The first layer consists of our very basic design pillars. First, we want to bring an authentic 3D home cinema experience into every home. Two, is to come up with a design that can match the elegance of today's HDTVs, as they are getting larger and larger every year. Most soundbars seem to be out of place when they are matched up with a 65-inch or bigger TV. The design pillar is especially important because 99% of the soundbar systems 
look like a mismatch underneath a big screen TV. We want to focus on the visual richness of the system. Something that matches the size of the TV, something very unique, something premium, and a system that is ravishing to look at. Third pillar is self-explanatory. Having good sound does not mean that you have to hire an installation professional to run and fish wires across your entire room. It should be wireless, and most people should be able to set it up in about 15 minutes. Last but not least, an attractive price to performance ratio. Granted, $3,500 is not exactly inexpensive, but I will circle back later on why this is a great deal for what you're getting. We then start with the second layer by employing a top-down point of view. Using a lens that will allow us to capture the best of both worlds. Starting from flagship audio video receivers, the undisputed device of producing the most immersive home theater experience available today. Their channel configuration, processing power, sound pressure level, hardware configuration, and sound quality are basically unmatched. On the other side of the chart, most consumers love plug and play simplicity. They don't want to spend weeks or months auditioning different systems. They want something that is wireless, something that is easy to install. Final phase is to smash on top of layer one and two, the philosophy of Dragon, which is to push the limit on every technical and mechanical dimension conceivable. And that is how we designed the new Dragon. The end result is an absolute masterpiece, but probably one of the worst business cases in audio industry. Let me explain why. Took us over five years to complete the project, about twice as long as anticipated. The typical Samba project for most brands will not last more than a year. I cannot recall how many times we have went over budget. There is a crazy, immeasurable cost that is associated with chasing excellence. Let me give you two very quick examples. UCD's exposed AMT air motion transformer treaters. There are a total of seven of them in the system. It is rare to see a manufacturer using such a hi-fi type speaker component in a plug and play setup because AMTs are quite costly. We like the characteristics of AMT because they are efficient and they are very, very, very good at reproducing both complex surround effects and dynamics of different music. Not to mention it has ultra wide bandwidth, very high SPL output, and very, very low distortion. The second example revolves around design. 99% of the soundbars in the market look similar. A little bit of plastic, a little bit of metal, a little bit of cloth. Maybe a combination of all three. The design here. The main unit is a 58 inch, one piece stainless steel, including the entire waterfall front here that you're looking at. It is a one piece of stainless steel that has 116,000 holes on it. We use a sheet metal photo edging process to create these holes. The process is slow, but very accurate, very reliable, and extremely precise. In fact, this stainless steel housing is so ginormous that we couldn't locate a partner in the audio industry that can produce metal this large as it requires a 1600 ton machine to do the tooling injection. We spent months and finally partnered up with a company that does automobile panels because auto panels are fairly large and they have the equipment to do what we need. After the hardware configuration is defined, we then start talking to our biggest software partners for surround processing innovations, which is Adobe and DTS. As software is going to play a pivotal role on unleashing the full potential of Dragon's hardware. I will discuss those in more detail in a few slides. All things equal, the more discrete channels a system has, the more immersive the surround experience will be. The Dragon comes with a configuration that is unheard of in a plug and play system, even unmatched by any audio video receiver in the market, including the brand new Danon A1H, their flagship that was announced back in September 
2022 at a pre-order price of $6,500. The Dragon will do a 11.4.6 configuration, 11 surround channels, 4 subwoofers, and 6 upfiring channels, or in AVR's terminology, a 17.4. Even the flagship Denon only does 15.4. The $30,000 Altitude 32 channel processor is the only one that came into my mind that can surpass the Dragon in terms of channel configuration. But that is only a processor without any speakers or amplifiers. Remember our attractive price to performance ratio pillar mentioned in the earlier slide? Pound for pound, the Dragon offers an insane value proposition. I'd like to thank both of our partners, Dolby and DTS, for endorsing the Dragon project and allowing us to certify this unit based on the specs rather than the form factor. Dragon is the first plug-and-play system that is enabled with DTS-6 Pro, a feature that is available only on top-end AVRs. I believe the cheapest AVR you can find with DTS-6 Pro is uh, $3,299, which is a Denon 6700. It is definitely a high-end feature. DTS-6 Pro brings the capabilities of the commercial version of DTS-6 to your private theater, as it can support up to a 32-speaker configuration. Nakamichi pioneered the dual subwoofers configuration in a plug-and-play system back in 2017. Five years later, we're still the only brand that ships with two subwoofers in a single box. Customers love it, and as a business leader, I'm always wondering when the competition is going to catch up, but the answer is obvious. Including an extra subwoofer is a huge financial undertaking. Cost of material to build a sub, potential wireless interference, ocean shipping efficiencies are instantly reduced by 20 to 30% because the box is larger and you can fit less into a container. Same goes for storage costs, shipping to retailers, and end users. For Dragon, we decided to take it to a whole new level by introducing a quad subwoofer configuration. This is achieved by a part isobaric and part dual opposing configuration. Having two subwoofers mounted back to back, a design that provides exceptional low frequency response without taking up more space. Since the subs are wireless, placement options are limitless and can be tailored to any room's acoustic characteristics. The bass output is also fully customizable based on the mood of the user. You can choose to enable between one to four subs individually on the remote. You can do any combination you see fit. One, two, three, four, one, three, two, four. This is the new reference as it is the most powerful, most flexible, and most customizable subwoofer solution out there. Our Omnimotion reference surrounds are also unlike anything else out there in the market. From a performance perspective, it can easily go toe-to-toe -to -toe with other reference level standalone surround sound speakers in the market that is equal in size, except they do so much more. They are wireless, powered, and they also have an upfiring speaker built in. Each of these wireless speakers has a stainless steel front grille and weights over 9 pounds, consisting of two drivers, two AMT tweeters, and one up-firing speaker. This configuration allows us to deliver a level of sound quality that far, far exceeds any competition's surround speakers in the market. With most all-in-one up-firing wireless surround speakers in the market, all-in-one all meaning that it is powered, and have an upfiring speaker built in, placement options are limited to create the perfect sweet spot. For example, when those surrounds are mounted on the back wall, the vertical speaker is firing at the TV rather than the seating area, completely impairing the height experience. In other words, your room must adapt to the placement of the speaker for best results. Our speakers are distinctively different. They are equipped with our patented perfect height mechanism. The Dragon's Omnimotion surround speakers have upfiring speakers that can be rotated up to 180 degrees to accommodate any environment, delivering a perfect vertical sweet spot regardless of room shape and seating position. The concept is simple. On the rotator, there is a line. 
All you have to do is to rotate and point the line at the sweet spot. As you are doing this, you are rotating the entire speaker inside the enclosure. Our innovations do not stop there. Dragon is the world's first soundbar system with six upfiring channels. Of the 11 dedicated speaker chambers inside the main unit, four of these chambers are dedicated to two pairs of dual angled upfiring speakers. Each pair is independently inclined at 10 degrees and 20 degree angles. A total of four in the front, two in the back makes a total of six upfiring channels. A proprietary adaptive height processing AHD algorithm works with these six height channels to render vertical and overhead sound objects at accurate height levels to give you the true perception of a multi-altitude space. Last but not least, to be fully immersed with an authentic Dolby Atmos or DTS-6 Pro experience, a system must have a unity of power and precision. The Dragon is an absolute beast when it comes to power output. There are a total of 15 digital amplifiers built in. Each surround channel has its dedicated amplifier. Enough power to handle the most demanding soundtracks at extreme volume with minimal distortion. As you can see, we have developed a 120 pound beast that is worthy of the Dragon Emblem with zero compromise as this is the world's first plug and play system with 11.4.6 channel of object based surround, first one with DTS X Pro, the market's first wireless quad subs with fully customizable output, first one with seven air motion tweeters, first one with reference quality surround speakers that has rotatable upfiring speakers, first system with six upfiring channels and 125 decibels of SPL output. Dragon is truly in a league of its own, making it an ideal home theater solution for those who want simplicity yet still expect maximum performance.